Now listen, we know the Torah. The Torah was uh, revealed to Prophet Moses, that is Musa. The Zabur was given to Prophet Tahul, that is David. That is the book of Psalms, was given to David. The Injil was given to Jesus, Isa, the son of Maria. And then the final of all those books, that is uh, the Quran, it was revealed to Prophet Muhammad. Now, my question is to who was this Bible, B I B L E, revealed to? The Bible was given to who? Where is it? The Bible. Okay, I so he doesn't. I just want to know. No, it's okay. Let's use the emotions. But we have no time. No, time is going. I just want to know the name. Okay. Not any further explanation. So, Jafari. 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 Or the one who was giving the Bible. Here's my answer, Jafari. All right. Surah 4, 136 says, we have to believe in the prophets and the books, right? The books are the Torah, mm. Zabu, mm -hmm. and Injil. How many books is that? Three. Three. How, this Bible, what does the word Bible mean? Uh, the books. Uh, Akitab. So, there's more than one in the Bible. And we, you know, here's the, here's the way that you understand this. Jesus came to confirm the Torah. Mr. Mr. Jason, I mean, slow time, please, slow time. Uh, I just want to go on with uh, my next question. So, the um, Bible is the collection of the book of Moses, the book of Jesus, and the book of David. Okay. That's the answer, no problem. Um, Mr. Jesse, although I'm not, um, not uh, I'm not moved, with it, but let's get it on. Now, if the Bible is truly really authentic and it's from God, I want you to tell me the person, or I want you to tell me the one who named the Bible. I just want to get the name of the person who named it. Maybe it was Muhammad because he called it the books. Please. Let's move. Let's move. So why is uh, <laughs> let's, let's get the why this is